Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, when you first walk on the court, do you guys do short court? Do you kind of put the ball around or back and forth for a little bit first? Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody is having a good day. Uh, coffee sponsor of the day is my man, Costa. Costa writes, I am from Australia and watch your videos all the time. I appreciate it. If you want to support my dark rose piping hot coffee habit, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you guys so much for keeping it going. So today, short court. I was asking myself this when I was doing short court uh, the other day. I was like, I don't remember doing this, you know, 20 plus years ago. You know, when I first started, I never saw anybody do it. Um, as we moved into more graphite rackets, more wide bodies and, you know, changing racket technology, is when I started seeing it. And I want to say that was a little less than 20 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. I felt like I saw it in a college match uh, when they were warming up for a little bit. So I was like, okay, what's that all about? And then people started doing it on where I was, you know, at City College, San Francisco. Shout out to CCSF, guys. Um, and then I was like, and then people were asking, okay, you want to do short court? I'm like, what is short court? So they were showing me, okay, so you put it. So in the beginning, I didn't take it serious. I just kind of putted it back, just kind of stood still, moved over, and just like did this, just pushed, pushed. I was like, we done yet? We back up now? You know, because when I warmed up, I was baseline, let's go. You know, I just slowly warm up the stroke back there. I don't know what the deal is, but I prefer to just go back there and find my range back there versus kind of doing this and kind of chatting it up. It it adds for the opportunity to say, hey, what'd you have for dinner last night? What'd you have for breakfast? And as we start talking, you know, instead of hitting. I mean, is that what it's all about? Let's go find Rob and see uh, if we could talk about this a little bit more. All right, guys, so we're on the court. Got my coach, Coach Rob, here. Back in my day, uh, you know, 80s, early Set. 80s, 70s, right. right? I don't remember warming up on a short court. And I definitely don't see pros doing it on television, right? You don't see the pros. Move. Not in their five-minute warm-up, because they've already hit for probably a good hour and a half and already gotten warm and done everything. Uh, that they're going to do because in the five minute warm up, you're just going groundies, volleys, overheads, two minutes, take your serves. Yeah. Then why do we got to do short court? Well, do you, have you, you haven't played today yet? No. Oh, okay. So I don't want you to hurt yourself. I don't want you to come out ripping balls. I want you to start with some control, moving your feet, watching the ball, um, get some consistency going, um, which I know. We weren't really back in the day super consistent. At least I wasn't. Um, I wish I had a little more short court warming up because I could probably more in a row then. Um, so we'll try a little short court and then we can progress back as we go. We're not going to do short court for a half hour. It's just, you know, okay. 15, 20 shots and see if you're moving your feet. You are trying to warm up. Get ready here. You may get a ball. As a child growing up with a wooden racket, steel racket, aluminum racket, I don't remember ever doing short court. Like, where did this come from? I can't say I exactly know exactly where it came from, but I do, like you, grew up, we're about the same age, and didn't remember doing a lot of short court. The club I was at, we had a paddle ball court, so we played in a small, confined area, so we did a lot of 
you know, angles and volleys and um, short points like that um, in this small area. And I think it probably stemmed from maybe, you know, I haven't played for a while. Let's hit it easy. I want to have a conversation with Harry. Let's catch up. We don't want to be full court talking really loudly while other people are maybe playing, competing. We don't want to interrupt them. So we might have started out just short court, yakking it up a little bit, um, and then trying to get a little bit of some rally, some feel, and then work our way back. I see that. I actually see that a lot today, especially, you know, at the local court, at the local club. Do you think that, you know, you and I grew up with a continental grip. I, I'd since switched mine over. Do you think, because I don't feel like you get a lot out of short court with a continental grip. <laughs> it, it could be just, you know, if you're starting out with some slices with your continental grip, um, you know, you really have to get under it to, to roll it with some top spin using the continental grip. Um, so it, it could have been that. It could have been, hey, we're, you know, we're too cool to hit short. Let's go full court. Um, yeah, I, I, you know. I feel like semi-Western, the Western, it kind of, to me, it made more sense for me to hit short court. And I mean, I hated short court. Even when people ask me to hit short court, I'd be like, okay, whatever here, you know? But I felt like as the years progressed, I can kind of feel that, you know, I have to come under the ball to over the ball, right? And right. short court's gonna help me kind of, kind of, you know, eye on the ball, under the ball, over the ball, you know? Right, it also really helps with the grip pressure. Like, if you're used to squeezing really tight and you're up close, you're squeezing tight and swinging hard, you're gonna drill your friend. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so you, you need some soft touch and some feel um, to control the ball in a short space back to your hitting partner. Interestingly, you bring that up, because I did do that many times in the beginning. Because, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, Turn and burn, right? It's just grip and rip, you know. So grip it and rip it and turn and burn. Yeah, those and, are saying. And that's not a short. But court that's not saying. a short court. <laughs> no, this is footwork, eye on the ball, warming up. Think of it like if any of you played baseball, you don't start with long toss. You're not hucking it, right? You're starting out close, short, just warming your arm up, and then progressing as you uh, as you get warm. Right. So guys, that's the. You know, that, I, I feel like that's how short court started. It started socially and then with the grip being over. And now you kind of see everybody doing it. Um, I mean, I even do it now. So, and I used to hate it. When you, when people used to say, hey, uh, short court, I was like, no, let's go. <laughs> so, then we knew we were in for a long day. Because... <laughs> Cause I I'm not a fan, you know what I'm saying? It, actually, I feel like short court sometimes screws up my long court because I'm 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 shortening up on it. I'm shortening up on it as I go back. Now I have to elongate a little more. Right. So, Harry, do you like coming to the net? Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay. Because um, usually you have to be able to handle the short hops, the half volley, the volley, that quick indecision of where whether I volley it or half volley it or soft touch and feel. Right. Whereas if you're always wanting to squeeze tight, right? You know, right? I've I've been working on that lately. I've been trying to, good. to to loosen up the grip there. Nice. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something from it. Um, I definitely learned how to hit short court in the last twenty years. Coach Rob too has learned to teach it in the last twenty years. So. I'm sure if you're our age, you're probably like, what the hell is this short court about? Or what's this short court about? Um, but it's it's good for you, okay? It teaches you touch, teaches you how not to grip too tight. And uh, try to talk a little less and hit a little more. Yeah, well, I mean, you could catch up on your, you know, problems, <laughs> trips, uh, dramas, okay? Uh, when you're like, close to each other, okay, doing short court. All right, I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for always hanging out with me today and chatting it up and teaching us the way of the short court. Thank you, Coach Rob. Of course. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, guys, are you looking for 
a coach, a pro. I know it's been super difficult looking for somebody out there to teach you. And I'm in the game myself, and it's super difficult to find somebody to, you know, teach you, somebody to hit with. Um, we know that the number one reason why people give up the game is because they can't find anybody to play with. And now you can't find anybody to teach you. Well, this is where play your court is going to give you a hand. All right. Check out play your court. They have professionals. They have hitting partners. They even help you set up a game. The resources are there for you to keep you in the game of tennis. Go to playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin and get your own personal discount from me. Link is below. Stay in the game, guys.